Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Fire Trail. In today's episode, I just want to go through a, a, a common question that I get from people who are looking to increase their income or they're just looking to just make more money, right? They say like, can I just buy a business, buy an existing business and just be a business owner, right? And they say like, oh, this business has generated cash, positive cash flow. The current owner is looking to retire. And if I invest X amount of money, you know, I'll be set for life. All right. And so in this video, I just want to go through some uh, some things you need to be cautious about when you're thinking about buying into a business. Hey, everyone. My name is Xiao Yu. I'm 37 years old and I recently retired from my corporate finance job and now I spend my time traveling with my family and making YouTube videos on the topic of financial independence and retire early. Okay, so what are some concerns that you should have when you're thinking about buying into a business or taking over a business, right? So a lot of times these businesses will have will be profitable, right? They'll tell you like, hey, we're making 200 300 thousand dollars in profit and if we if you want to buy it from us you know we'll sell it to you let's say five times the the revenue so five times the amount so let's say if it's you know keep things easy if they're generating two hundred thousand in profit five times that is a million dollars so we'll sell it to you for a million dollars so i've heard people say like should i take out a loan let's say for a million dollars i'm let's say 40 years old, I want to work for myself. Should I just go ahead and do that? Take a loan for a business loan for a million dollars and get into it. Here's the caution. It sounds exciting. It sounds great, but here's what you're missing. Number one, if you are not truly passionate about the business that you're getting yourself into, let's say it is, I don't know, uh, out of a plumbing business, all right? Let's say it's a plumbing business who's generating $200,000 in profit, okay? And you're saying, well, I should be in the plumbing business. I should be a plumber and make $200,000. And all it's gonna cost me is a million. I'll make that up in five years and I'm only 40 years old. So by the time I'm 45, everything's gonna be great. Hold the brakes, okay? The reason that the people, the current owners are, prof are, are profitable it's most likely because they are actually in the field of plumbing. They actually have the skill sets to, uh, you know, to serve the customers. And if anything goes wrong in the business, they have the ability to pivot to address the issues with minimal financial impact. If you, as a 40 year old or however old you are, with no background in plumbing, get into the plumbing business and think from year one, you're going to generate the same income as the experienced plumber who's looking to retire, you are fooling yourselves. Because when issues arise, you're not going to have the skill sets or the experience to handle it. And more likely than not, you're going to incur losses, financial losses, and additional expenses to offset these issues that the experienced plumber would not have, okay? That's number one, okay? So if you're not passionate about either the field you're getting yourself into or interested in mastering the craft in order to make it a sustainable business, do not get into these types of businesses. Do not buy a business then, okay? That's why when people say they're looking to buy something that's passive income, passive, meaning they're hands off and it just it's like a money press. That is foolish talk. There is no such thing as buying a business and being passive. You are the owner. You're definitely going to be hands on or at least monitoring the operations, making sure everything or the people who are actually doing the work are doing it right and doing it to the standards that it's that they that the customers have come to expect right so that's number one if you're not passionate and all that stuff okay and number two it's what i just talked about if you think that this is only going to be like a two three hour type work week and that you're just gonna you know 
take out a million dollar loan and you're just going to you know pay the monthly uh payment on that loan and life is going to be great you're going to be in the bahamas uh half the year and driving a ferrari and all that stuff that's foolish thought there is no such thing as a passive business owner okay if you're anyone who's a business owner understands this that if you're not regularly involved or have someone that you can trust and even if you have that someone you can trust you got need to make sure they have direction that they understand the mission you have on the goals that you're set because you're not just interested in making 200,000 every single year, right? Hopefully you want to scale it and make 300,000, 400,000. Well, that takes direction. That takes motivation, right? That takes goal setting. And that comes from you as the owner, your workers, they're only getting a salary. They're not going to be, in, unless you incentivize them as, you know, part owners and all that stuff. But naturally they're not incentivized like you are to work harder work smarter work more efficiently to generate the increased profit because if the business makes four hundred thousand dollars more next year doubling your profit that doesn't mean their salary doubles right so the incentive factor is not there so do not fool yourself in thinking that being a business owner is a passive lifestyle passive income there's nothing passive about being a business owner okay and number three and this is really important to understand do not fall for the trap and thinking that just because the business owner is profitable this year that you are going to be profitable next year i'm not talking about the skill sets and all that stuff okay i'm talking about the economic conditions think about this for a second let's say you bought a business in 2019 and you and the owner say yeah we're, we make a million dollars in this restaurant business right let's say you buy a bit restaurant business we make a million dollars and we'll just sell it to you for you know two million bucks so it's not even five x it's just two x so he's like wow they generate a million dollars and they're only selling for two wonderful 2019 all right we all know what happened in 2020. How many businesses closed down during 2020, 2021? Yeah, exactly. Right. That pandemic shut down every restaurant. Nobody's sitting in and dining in. Right. They're all locked in their home. So make sure you are doing your due diligence and understanding the industry you're getting self into. Right. Right now, just because a business is profitable today does not mean they will be profitable tomorrow five ten years from now okay think about all the businesses that have gone uh, have been obsolete right think about um uh, what is it the the ev business all right remember a couple of years ago they were saying like oh electric vehicles they're going to take over the world that it's going to be everybody's going to uh, want one so i just read an article about it's one of the is it hertz or one of the rental companies they actually shifted a lot of their future business instead of from traditional you know automobiles they actually bought a bunch of tesla threes if you read an article right now that was just published that that business is really not profitable. Actually, people are not renting EVs, even though they said that EV is going to blow up the industry. Everybody's going to be driving one. Well, that's not the case for them. And everyone who went into the EV business can attest to this, that the customer base is very limited and it's not as profitable as they forecasted. So do your due diligence and understand uh, the macro and micro uh, conditions. All right, that's everything for today's video. If you found if you found value in this, please like and subscribe, share a comment. I would love to hear from you guys. Um, and again, this is Xiao Yu wishing you the best in your financial journey. Take care, everyone.